Welcome to the tutorial on internationalization. In this tutorial, we will learn about what internationalization is, how to configure internationalization in the app, and preview it in Functional Preview. The process of designing an application in such a way that it supports various languages and regions is known as internationalization, or I18N. I have here an application already created in English. First, I'll go to the Project Settings menu and select the Enable I18N checkbox. I will click on Edit, which will allow us to configure the keys in various locales. Click on the Open Locales icon to add or edit locales. Visualizer supports predefined and custom locales. The user's locale on the device is determined by the user's language setting. We can add the keys and the corresponding values in different locales. Keys represent common text elements throughout your app that will require translation based on the given locale. We can set the default locale in the project settings. Let's assign the pre-configured I18N keys to widget properties. When we enable the I18N in project settings, a new dropdown appears in the properties panel for the I18N key selection for the selected widget. Select any widget and assign the required I18N key for that widget. Now let's run this in App Preview. Notice that the text elements in my app are translated to German based on the locale of the device. Visualizer also allows us to export these I18N keys being defined in the application. We can click on the export and the I18N keys will be exported as a zip file. These can then be imported into any other application. To submit questions, go to developer.coney.com or to learn more about Visualizer, go to coney.com, products, Visualizer.